so guys here it is ground provisions and the sulfur stew i'm excited about this one because it's a dish really from my country saint lucia welcome 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 thank you so much for tuning in again I appreciate it thank you very much so tonight we are going to be cooking and I am excited about this one because it's a it's a dish really from my country St. Lucia so um, I'm gonna do like a quick run through of the ingredients and how we're gonna put it together so if you are interested in seeing what this dish is all about i invite you to keep watching please keep watching right through to the end you will not regret it we are going to be cooking what is called ground provisions and saltfish stew so maybe you've heard of saltfish or it's more commonly known as cod fish so that's what we're gonna be doing so hold on let me show you what the ingredients look like here are the ingredients for the meal so well this is that's like a, a side dish so we'll take that out of the way for now and so we have this here this is green figs or what you may know as red bananas now I'm not sure if you know about green figs because other people that I've spoken to about the green figs here in Canada they said that they didn't know that you could eat the green eat the red bananas green so yeah you can eat it green but you have to cook it like you would cook plantain so green figs and then we have this called yam now there are different kinds of yams I don't even know to tell you the truth I don't even know the name of this one I just know it as yam right and we have ripe plantain mm -hmm. and then we have salt fish or what is called like i said earlier what is called the cod fish boned salted cod bits now in this this packet it comes it comes already cleaned it's deboned it's already all the scales everything has been removed so this is what it looks like show you a piece so that's what it looks like salt fish okay and it's high in salt so you want to be careful like if you want the high blood pressure side you want to be careful with the, the salt intake the salt content but I will show you how to prepare it um, in terms of cutting back on the salt the amount of salt that it will have in the end so here we have salt fish and then we have canned coconut milk and finally finally we have just um, a few ingredients this is hot seasoning pepper and this one when you handle it in case you don't know when you handle it you want to be careful not to touch any part of your face because it's hot and after you finish handling it you want to make sure that you wash up, wash your hands with soap and water all right and finally I have some 
fish spice to add to the stew. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to get the ground provisions ready for cooking. So to cook the right plantain, we just cut the ends, both ends, like this. Okay, and then you just cut it in half like this. So the next thing is the yam. And again, you have to cut it and peel it. This is it. Now you peel it just like you would peel potatoes. And then I'm just going to cut it in half like this. And now for the green figs. And like I said, you peel the green figs the same way you would peel green plantain. So to do that, you cut a slit from the top to the bottom. And then you peel. And of course, using your knife, you peel away the residue, any residue that may be left on the green fig, any green parts, any skin, any peel. it away so this is one that's done and then drop it into the pan and repeat the process so this is what we have this is what it's looking like I'm gonna take this to the to the sink I'm gonna wash it out fill it with water Add some salt and put it to boil and then we'll go on to the next part of the dish. Okay, so here it is on the stove and the ripe plantain. I'm just going to put it closer to the top because because it is ripe, it will cook a little bit faster than the rest of the other pieces. So I just want to bring it up to the top that it doesn't overcook and while it is boiling while it is cooking you have to keep checking for softness like I said the plantain would have a tendency to cook a lot faster before the rest of the pieces so you want to check on that I'm going to add some salt to it not a lot because the salt fish already has a high salt content so you just want to go easy with the salt in the ground provisions and again while it is boiling keep checking it because the water level would go down and if it's not cooked enough then you, you would need to add some more water to it to allow it the pieces to cook properly now while the ground provisions are doing their thing. We are going to work now on the on the salt fish. So I'm just going to put a few pieces in the pan. Like that. And then I'm going to add some water to it and put it to boil. And then I'm going to add some sugar to the water. 
Now by adding sugar, it helps to um, reduce the saltiness of the, of the codfish or the saltfish. So after you boil it for the first time, take a little taste. See whether the salt content is okay for you. If it's okay, if you like high salt, then fine. If it's too salty, repeat the process. If you think it's still too salty, repeat the process a third time. This is gonna help cut down on the salt. Okay, let's put the, the sugar. Sugar. So while, while we have these two pans going, doing their thing, I'm just going to work on the seasoning. Okay, now we have the hot pepper. Now some people, when they prepare the hot pepper, they keep the seeds in. They add the seeds to the, to the mix. I guess it gives it more heat. But I grew up not keeping the seeds, so I'm going to discard the seeds and just use the, just the outer part. Then I remember I said after you're done handling the, the pepper, make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to test for salt and if it's too salty for my preference, I'm going to repeat the process a second time. It has too much salt for me. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to add the sugar and put it back on the stove to boil. And now I'm going to I'm going to test for whether it is done for softness. This is the right plant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the right plantain and it's already done. I'm going to remove the plantain and the green figs because they are ready and allow the yam to finish cooking. So we have the green fig and the plantain out. Now we'll allow the rest to cook. So guys, comment below. Tell me whether you know about this green fig. I mean, we all know ripe bananas, but a lot of people don't know, like I said, about eating the ripe bananas when it's green. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the, the stew now. And to the pot, I'm going to add some oil. And I'm going to dump all of the seasoning in there. Okay, now to the with the seasoning just to stretch the, the stew a little bit I'm just going to add some mixed vegetables
Okay, now to that, I'm going to add, add the, the salt fish. Okay, so this is the salt fish. I'm just going to add it to this. Stir it up a bit. And then I'm going to add some of the fish spines. Then to the stew, I'm going to add some ketchup. And of course, as always, during this time, you're always testing for, for taste, for flavor and you season according to your own preference. I'm just going to try it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Probably. The salt is just right. Okay, now lastly, to finish up the stew, I'm going to add the coconut milk. guys the meal is all done i'm going to show you how i'm going to put it together so, this is the yam and i'm just going to slice it in about three slices like this and this is the green fig and again i'm going to slice it on the diagonal about that and this is the planting so I'm just going to peel off the skin slice it in half like this and then you want to try to remove this part I'm going to try to remove this part to just dig it out until you get this. And I'm going to add the sauce now. This is the sauce. And finally, I'm going to add some avocado. Okay, so here's the avocado. So guys, here it is, ground provisions and the salt fish stew so guys tell me what do you think comment and let me know what do you think of it now i should give a little heads up that you know if you're on the on the healthy side like you really health conscious maybe this might not be the right dish for you 
or if you do want to attempt it probably eat very little because these um these ground provisions they're very rich in starch and carbohydrates and so on so you want to watch the intake yes but this is one of the meals that we in saint lucia eat this is one of the local meals if you were to ever visit the islands this is one of the local meals that you would come across so guys i want to thank you thank you so 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 much for keeping me company if you found this very interesting very different please let me know leave a comment down in the comment section let me know what your thoughts are thank you once again guys take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next one bye